from Sariel that I boiled up this morning and left and left it to steep for about two hours. So now it's cool and can be blended. We're going to use the puree from this to make our sariel cake. Come on, see how this come on. Not the liquid. Margarine. Remember, you're gonna need some to grease the pans. Yeah. So. I didn't know that. So what are you doing now? Just, just making sure my butter is soft enough to blend with the sugar. Cake. I have my cinnamon powder, nutmeg, and I have eggs. The main one of the main ingredients is our mixed fruits. So in here we have some prunes, raisins, currants, cherries, and mixed peel that I have soaking for about two months. Yeah, roughly two months and um, I blended them this morning to get them to the consist consistency that I need I don't want any bite any fruits to be when I'm eating the cake I don't want to be biting on anything so I blend them right out so it seems like In a small container where I can take out the, the little eye that makes the cake raw. So you take out the little eye and throw that away. And I usually do this and then I place them in a bigger bowl. So you don't want to, have, if you have a spoiled egg, you don't want it to be in like in everything. So you break them separately and add it to the big make the big bowl that's what i usually do i try my best to take out um most of the eggs have like two eyes so i try my best to see if i can find both of them but if you don't the egg will taste raw and we don't want that so i'm going to add the eggs gradually
Okay, for the starting pin, we're going to do the same with the other mixture. So now we're going to add our sorrel puree. Mix that in. And you do, you do this until all the eggs are added. Alright, so. We're going to do the soil cake. So we're going to add. Alright, so we're going to add two cups of flour. And adding that. Mix it in. 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 Two cups of flour to this. So to this now, some. I'm going to add vanilla, some cinnamon, about a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, I'm going to add some, about a teaspoon of nutmeg, adding a little rose water, some mixed spice. So no measurement, you're just doing the old fashioned way. Um yeah. A little tops. Butter. <laughs> a little tops mix. Good amount. And we have some oh, almond essence. Just a little teeny because this is very strong. No, exactly. Two teaspoon of baking. Okay. And then I'm going to put some red coloring to get that nice red color. Actually looks like red velvet cake when it's finished. Mm, can smell the food. Smells so 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 good. So, right. Right, so we're adding some lime rind. It is great the skin of the lime in it. It gives it a really nice flavor. Usually it's very strong, so you can't put too much. Some rose water. to use the rind of a lime. Just the skin. A great skin in it. I cut it around the bottom of the pan.
two pieces of butter and you just place it in there like this. Makes the cake easy to come up with. And then, it in the oven. Okay, so now we have to add our fruits to this. So now we're doing our fruit cake. And then we're going to add this is our flour mixture. It has in it has in salt, baking powder, cinnamon powder, nutmeg. And that's our mixture. So we're going to add it to the mixture slowly. them until our six cups are in and we we'll mix it in well. So got some man strength to help me. Professional. Uh, husband <laughs> husband in the kitchen. Eagle. <laughs> More flour. Now we're adding our grace browning. Alright. Mix and cut, mix and cut. Mix. So you add the amount of browning that you want to make your cake um, as dark as you want it. I like when mine really dark. You know, mix out your life for the cake. You know the fluffy and nice. Like me. You're right about that. <laughs> You're right, Dina? Drink your tea. Mm hmm. So put the brown and mix out. Yeah, man, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Well, Anna, man, let me just get you in a good state. And all them edges are clean off. Your papa is saying it makes no difference. Um, anyway, you need some more color down. What do you think? Yeah, so this look. You sure? You know, so the one in Pan TV and I look. That I want in Pan TV will be a color time. I know what yeah, I'm so looking for. So, what are you for then? I know what I'm looking for. I'm going to burn it with some water. I don't want to do it. Really? Ready? 
Alright, so we have all three baking things. And they're going to pour them in now. Oh, yeah, what is funny? They stop at each time. What I did was I put foil over them for a while so that they can steam. Really? Mm. Move your hand fast. So I mean. Now they are ready, and what I do is I spray my cake in order for the, the wine and rum. Nice. I spread them with some some rum and red label wine to make them moist. And um, I'm going to continue doing this for some days so that when we're ready to eat them, they'll be nice and moist and full of rum. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys.